Like, I don't really know the situation with my man, bro. Bro, you just went on your mad one. Yeah. Literally just started tweeting. He must have tweeted for about nine hours. Probably, probably about, about 24, 24 hours, hours in general. Typical wild is that? Time. Yeah, just spazzing out. Just chatting sh- absolute shit. Yeah. But you know what? It was peak because his message, yeah, that he was trying to relay. He had well, where's, where's, it come, where's it come from? Like, where's no, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. So what's he saying? It was just about Jewish people within the music community. So, and how they run, run like the... Sticky subject. It is a sticky it? one, bro. So obviously you've got to be careful. You just start generalizing yeah. everyone. And what it was weird because he he had a point and maybe it was okay and it it was right for one person, yeah, yeah. but he generalized everyone and it was right. just like, yo, bro, you've actually fucked it. Yeah. You know what? In, in this what what's that film now on flipping on Netflix? The Will Smith one, man. Which one? Where you got like you you got your your orcs, your humans, your Is it Bright? Bright. Yeah. That's the I ain't watched that, you know. So basically it's, it's bright, but I, I can't really remember it too tough. So but essentially, it's you've got your orcs, your your elves, and your humans, yeah. yeah. And apparently, it's meant to be it's meant to represent your like different social groups, um, like that. So then people, what I was seeing tweets and stuff saying that the elves, like they're like the the higher class. You get me? Like they're the okay, the yeah, upper yeah. tier, and they're meant to represent the Jews, and then. You've got the humans, and then you've got the orcs, which is meant to be the. I, 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 I can't say it because I think I'm gonna get it wrong here. But essentially, what they're saying is that the Jews run the show, basically. But obviously, I wasn't too sure because I haven't watched. It. I need to watch it then. But yeah, what, yeah. Therefore, watch that though. It's, it's actually a good film. Though. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the shot he was going with. He's, mm-hmm. he's fucked it though. I mean, he's BBC came on BBC after, and it was just. You know, a big old Wiley, because he's yeah, a legend in yeah, that. Yeah, all time <laughs> When he came on BBC after, and they was like, oh, how do you feel about them taking away, maybe taking away your NBA? He's like, take that! I never even got it anyway! You know what it is? And you see him on the, um, you know what, some, some people not like Wiley yet, but you see him on the, um, I've seen interviews on Wiley and I thought, oh, that, it shouldn't have been like that. But then you watch the ZZ Mills on. Bro, I tell you, I do what? I like the guy, but I have to turn it off about 15 minutes. So who the guy is. I liked it. I, that made me think, yo, Wiley, yeah, bro, you're proper. Right, how is it going on? He's like, he was just the, he wasn't saying anything in particular, but like, he's, what he's saying, he don't sound, it's easy to think, yeah, you're crackers, but he's actually like saying logical stuff, you know what I'm saying? This is his problem, bro. So he, he says, so his point is there, like, if you, Take away with the cipher for the shit that he speaks. Mm. He has a valid point on some topics. Just the delivery, innit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Oh, and the, just... way, the way that he's like, it's because he's so, like, say, delivery, he's so, like, rah, 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 rah. Mm. you get me, like, it's, it's almost like it's an attack. Yeah, it's bad. it's bad as well because obviously, there's always that stereotype, yeah, like, oh, like the big, angry black guy, yeah, like, yeah. and he could end it all, he's aggressive or. But do you know what, like, when you watch him on, like, the BBC interview, mm. it was like, I think it was like six, seven minutes of him talking. And obviously, I don't think really think that's just why they, yeah. but then obviously that's going up out to the nation, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at, like, middle class white family who looked at him and go, yeah. He's the best reason to say something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This so, one, go, just going back to what, like, say, the, 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 the platform we've got these days, like, say, that now, it's great because when would you ever, ever seen someone like Wiley on such a big stage. Like, back in the day when you're talking before Channel U and that, he spit on like underground radio sets and like, no one would see this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then, boom, now you're on BBC and you've got so many more people to judge you. But on the other hand, you've got so many more people to appreciate you as well. Yeah, 100%. It's yeah, yeah, a living yeah, catch. Yeah, reach. That's social media as well, isn't it? Obviously, it's Twitter. Fair followers, bro, bro. What's his, what's his Twitter like, popping? <laughs> Dead now. <laughs> so he's forced the accident. Really yeah, he's got he's not got anything, bro. He's not got YouTube. He took all his YouTube. He platformed it. Yeah. So imagine like that's peak for an artist. Like mm. that's not right. Sure, I think that's wrong. Personally, you can't just delete a guy's YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I know he can. I mean, freedom. Freedom. Uh, this is the long debate of freedom of speech, isn't it? I mean, there's people like Kate Hopkins who have their 
what say what they say, which is controversial, but the argument always comes down to yeah, but they state I think they promoted more in America freedom of speech, yeah, whereas yeah. here it's like he, I know what he said and like you said there, what he's I think it's more the delivery, you can see his point, but you can't agree with how he said it, and mm-hmm. I think that's where it's conflicting between people. Yeah, I it's think kind of definitely the uproar though, with like you say Kate Hopkins name, the uproar with that is that she's she's been doing it for what, twelve years just Mm. Spouting, yeah, long, long span, spouting yeah. absolute shit. Like, re- she's racist. She she makes racist statements like yeah. openly, and she just had this platform to speak and speak and speak. Same with um, Tommy Robinson. Mm. He'll say he's not racist, blah blah. blah. But he, he's had a platform to speak and speak and speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. If that's what he wants to spout, let him do his thing mm. to them and over there. But Wiley came and said. Literally, this is the problem. Everyone, that's why everyone. Yeah, so this is what I'm seeing now. So I'm seeing. So how can I'm seeing memes and related about how can you not shut down racism and this and that, but you can shut down my man. That's it. That's it. And bro, do you know what? The BBC have been moving mad of late, anyway, because obviously they they dropped the M bomb twice in what a matter of yeah, two crazy. Like they people. did a video about it as well. Yeah, they reported about it also. I see yeah, the video. It's crazy, bro. Like. Like I wouldn't go on TV and drop that word, yeah, 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 and yeah. I'm not saying I never drop the word anyway. I never use it anyway, but I wouldn't even feel comfortable doing it. Yeah, yeah. And you've got like you've just got like a white woman from like I don't know where she's from, no offense, like Shrewsbury or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she just come out and say in yeah, in an article, yeah, like, well, in like a report. Fair enough, she's not said it in any way. She just read, and so then they described. said, yeah. But I'm just sitting there thinking. That's, that's you know what? Ages. You know what? It's weird. It's weird that it was even a thing because especially in the height of. Uh, Currently, like it makes you almost question that have they just done it on purpose to gain some sort of bro. yeah because they gain you know, imagine how much exposure the BBC gets even the fact we're talking about it now even if it's something as small as a fraction of social media attention mm. followers retweets that's what they talk about these days with it like, like Kate Hopkins is she's the best at doing that uh, she'll tweet something knowing it's going to cause outrage but she also knows how much of social media is going to pop up yeah, as well yeah, yeah. which probably give it's just that they know what they're doing so when people do outrage even insult her and, but that's attention she wants yeah, yeah. and she gets it's a living devil's playground isn't it? Right, they're, they're, they're bad for it because like obviously you've got the um, the situation there but didn't they, they tweeted a picture of the Wiley situation and tweeted Kano like there was a picture of Kano on the article bro and he said like what, BBC? but they was talking about Wiley yeah Martin. DJ is it DJ Target he, I'm not sure I'm not sure that's his name it's a DJ that works on BBC is left. No, 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 side man. Do you know the guy, yeah. the Brummie guy, who yeah, just did yeah, all those videos yeah. and then he's, he's popped off like... Yeah, yeah. He's just, he just came out, I read, I listened to his statement actually the other day and he was just like, I can't, like, to, to have change and to come forward, you've got to unlearn a lot of things and he says, it's not going to happen overnight and I get that, but when I'm working with an organisation that are just doing shit like this, I'm like... And the BBC posted that video announcing his left. Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> But yeah, there's big corporations there. Oh right. my god, it's the arrogance, isn't it? It's yeah, the cheek of it's, it's, yeah, it's the cheek of that. All right, cool. I'm gonna rub this in your face. Mm. I'll do what I want. I'm still gonna be popping. But is that, well, that's it, isn't it? Until you like defund the platform, like mm. I know, obviously, there's that defund where they've been thrown around with the police and whatever, which is mad. But until you I can ultimately just avoid the platform, mm. what can you do, really? Mm. What do you think about like defunding any sort of Let's start with the police. Right, it's important. I, I don't know, know what they mean if by that. Stick, if you want to, if you want to sit there and say defund the police, then what you need to almost say is, if I, if it's two a.m. and your house is getting burgled or someone's held hostage, you need to be comfortable saying no. Uh, like, yeah, what are they doing? What are they, they, yeah, you got to be comfortable saying if you want to defund the police, then you've got to almost be comfortable saying mm. that. Like, you, 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 you can't have one opinion say okay, defund the police. Let's not have it. And then on one hand say, oh no, now we need to pull this. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, the problem with that argument, it would just, it just... It, that's what it would be, that's what it would be. And I'd be like, yeah, nah, we don't need the police. Yeah. We don't need them right there. And then, fucking hell, my gas been absolutely done over. I'm like, mm-hmm. just think that, ah, oh, I don't, ah. You can turn into some like post-apocalyptic type. Right, we have the purge. Yeah. We need, a, we need authority in, in society. Why is it going to be fucked? That's something that's come from the day. Um, I'm saying about, imagine if we had no, like, the point that mum was saying is that we need some form of routine. We need we need to be we need structure. We need to be told yeah. this and this because imagine if 
say like flipping you can do what you want and you're your own authority then who stops who and then where does it stop you right know? So it's just it comes down to about like i think i'm better than you or i think i've got yeah. more power than you and you know what like i get it like i get it everyone needs freedom and the problem is i think we we think we're better than we are but we need to remember be humble and just remember what we did at the start of lockdown with that toilet paper situation. Yeah, we are not. We are not trust ready for the new world. Uh, trust me, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Look bro. at how everyone responded to the lockdown with the toilet paper. We are not ready for the. We're like, not talking about <laughs> police in our own world. Yeah, bro. when it when it comes down to it, the talking on Twitter, right. what we were talking about earlier, with people having platforms and giving opinions probably more than they should. When it comes down to it, the action, look at how we react as a country with the, with the toilet paper situation. It was crazy. Yeah. And, and we, like I say, we're talking about all this other stuff. But we can't function anyway as a country when anything happens. Like, so for example, when um, it snows, yeah. panic, absolute panic. Everyone's, yeah. So, been so, so there's a little bit of rain, too much rain. Oh, oh God, the drains, the drain yeah. systems, the, you've got flooding everywhere. And then, for example, the, like you said, the toilet roll thing. Back to um, having structure. If we didn't have like the police or whatever, and we had no structure in our lives, like like in a hierarchy, for example, in society, we'd be fucked. But also, look at people now, like people are on furlough, not working, just living in their gaff isolation. We're in isolation essentially, mm. so lockdown. People are fucked, bro. Mentally, mm. mentally, the world's gone tits up because. Mm. Man can't cope. Like I, I, I look, I'm lucky because I've been working from home. But even me, bro, I'll be working, sat in my living room. I mean, I've got a living room like all the way through. You've been in my yard anyway, so it's like a living room all the way through to the to the kitchen. And there's no separation, so I'm, I come downstairs, I have a coffee, start working. I've got a fucking puppy running around, bro, biting my toes. What's that? Go for a walk. <laughs> I work for my mum, so my mum's like next to me on yeah. my computer. She's on the phone all day. I'm going out my head. I put the TV on because I have a little bit of background, put the cricket on or whatever, whatever sport I want to watch. Because here on the phone, but I'm yeah. going out my mind and then it gets to five o'clock. I'm in the living room. I've got no separation. <laughs> I'm like, I've been working here. Your office is like, <laughs> and, now, and now I'm in the living room and I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, I've been in here all day. What do yeah. I do now? So you loop with that. But it's mad, isn't it? Because people, like, before this, we complained about I'm going mad in the office. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I'm back in the office now, and I love it, bro. It's just a little bit more structured. You're back in the office now? Yeah, well, we went back. Then we had to... We had the Leicester lockdown, the local lockdown, which is a bit better. We were obviously working the city centre, so we had to stop, work from home again. Now we're back again, and now that's been lifted. All the work's saying, like, when you went back into Leicester lockdown, normal. Bro, like, you're really working, really working in the office. You've got one way system around the office, bro. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. mad. Bro, it's fucked. It's yeah, fucked, it's genuinely. Mad. It's jarring as well, like, you have to do the social distancing thing. I mean, people just stick to as so much as you can, boys. So what, like, like eventually it's good, just, yeah, it's hard, bro. Like, so when, so when, you're work, when you're in work, yeah, like, let's say like, now you're around, I don't know, flipping Susan. Yeah. So now you're around Susan every day. Are you not allowed to touch and all that stuff? <laughs> Well, you died, not meant to hide, do you mean? Yeah, I don't know how to do it. work. No, you're not meant to, like, you're, um, so the desks have been changed, like, so you sat, I mean, you can't sit opposite anyone, so if you work in an office environment, unless you've got a shield up, mm. which would be fucking nuts. Nice. We've got so, one of them on reception and in the meeting room, so if a client comes in, yeah, it's like, it's just a fucking shield, and it's like a prison, is it? It's just yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. glass shield. The, the first time I went to the garage, and I seen during this, and I, and I seen the flipping shield. I'm like, I got there with my shit, and I'm like, oh, now what do I do? He's like, oh, you gotta scan your own room. It just like, happened now. Huh? Just, when we just went and got the monster. Bro. Yeah, like you gotta like, slide it under the. It's like going <laughs> your own bank back in the day. You have to like put all your fucking cash through. It's weird. Shit, I mean, what you gotta do? What you gotta do in it? I mean, I'm kind of. No offence to anyone that feels that has had like family affected by it or whatnot, but I'm kind of past the point now, like where I just don't I don't get the you know the face masking shops now now we've we've gone through this peak or whatever they say, but now we want to put the face masks on. I just don't get that. Like, I've, I've, there's no there's literally no like if you chase back it makes doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. And then they done it in Germany though, and then Germany's on the spike again. So has it worked? Because if if they've put people in Germany, oh, you've got to wear your face masks in X amount of places, but 
top numbers are still rising. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know how how honest. I mean, I'm not calling the government lies, but how how can we say yeah. the numbers is gospel? No, because like, I mean, because of all the stories that you're hearing about, oh, I'm gonna taking a test, it's going back positive, mm. but the next test they took is negative, mm. and X amount was screw whiffed at the start. From when I someone I was speaking to someone and they told me that their friend's grandma had passed away from cancer she'd been sent home to spend the last dying stages with the family and all that stuff and then obviously rest in peace she passed away then um from when i heard that they put on her death certificate covid 19 i thought uh, that was just just a massive that's, that's, that's now that's now what do i believe when i've heard this from someone i and there's a, there's a lot of stories like that as well. It's yeah. not this is it. it's not a conspiracy theory. It's, it's it's stories like that being keep kept. You know, they get told, get told. Even that BBC um, news report where the guy said it as well. Someone dies in a car accident and blah blah blah. He goes, if he, he had COVID, it was, that was a COVID death. That sort of stuff. It's, it's confusing for the public, man. It's so confusing. Yeah, and it's not even like it's it's a conspiracy theory. Like you say, it's real life. Like this is yeah. uh, this is in front of your face. How can you deny it? You know what I'm saying? It's just this now, it's just pure confusion, which is the uproar. And then more people are not doing what they're told. And then now we're not. That's it. And that's now it. So yeah. we're all in the same cycle. Again. That's it's it. People are not like people are. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fuck it, bro. Like, what? Why? Why am I continuing to do yeah. that? Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, though. I'm not, I'm not like, oh, fuck it. But when there was like lockdown, I was going out on my bike and shit. I was still active. Like, mm. obviously I'd get hour a day, but I was going out longer than that. Was, mm. I just sit in my house. And like now, for example, people are being, uh, have you, I don't know if you've seen the viral videos where men are cussing people for not wearing a mask. Like, you yeah. like, yeah, you're the reason. Yeah, yeah. Get out of it. We're arguing with each other, but it shouldn't be like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it's seven. Divide and yeah, it's like he's yeah. divide and conquer kind of thing. Like, you, you know can't what? Go. On a, a bigger scale, here, yeah, like it's actually mad because that, as much as people talk about conspiracy theories and that being daft, yo, the shit's in front of your face, bro. bro like, I a lot of it. I hate that real. conspiracy. Like, do you know what? I literally, I literally, I watch videos on conspiracies and whatever, but I don't mind buying into any of it. So I just like pick fault in everything yeah, I hear. Yeah. Because it's normally what that wants one yeah. side, and then it's normally someone saying what they want to believe as yeah. opposed to being yeah. objective. You know what happens with them though? A man will bring you, like, you watch a YouTube video of a guy, he's, saying, he's bringing you along this conspiracy theory, and you're like, oh, you know what? He's actually making a bit of sense yeah. here. And then he goes and says something mad, like, yeah, we sat in a line with the earth, and then <laughs> because sat in a line, yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. this is happening in the world right now. And you know, you've lost me now. So everything you pride yeah, says it's, it's is all bullshit. Yeah, yeah. it's pointless. So, but this one here, it's different. It's just facts and figures there. Like, the, the mainstream news are giving it is. So, mm-hmm. And they would, I presume, they'd try and hide it as best they could if, if that yeah. was. I don't know, like, I, 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 me personally, I try not to get too caught up on them things there because, like, at the end of the day, it's, it's controlled the life. It's controlled and controllable. Bro. Bro, you tell. The, Boris Johnson tells me tomorrow I can't leave my house otherwise I'm gonna get shot in the brain. Yeah. Yo, I'm not leaving my house. Yeah. But what what I do inside the house for for however long I have to do it is what matters. It's like you know what actually this period yeah, has given people a good opportunity to become the see it how you want, but it's given a lot of people to become their own boss. Mm. Now you've got an opportunity, like you've got a lot of time yeah, now to true. actually be your own boss. Develop something you've ever You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that have obviously suffered like financially and the economy's on its fucking ass and that. But um there's a lot well, of like, people that like, a, a massive push from this and that yo I've absolutely profited mm, from this. Yeah. Same so things like working at home now. Mm. You can get up when you want, you can work you don't you can't reason, yeah. But, yeah like it's a real reason but you can get up when you want, you can work when you want, you can have lunch when you want. Now you've got now you've got to have motivation and now like you say you've got no motivation so it's probably actually a bit harder mm. to, to do your work. Now be your own boss, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, literally. Bro, I've um I must have driven my whip about in the last couple of yeah, months. Your bro. whip's definitely not left your house, bro. bro. You've done about bro. ten miles on your bro. <laughs> bro, not ten miles even that. You know what? Not even not even ten miles, bro. I, I don't even I haven't filled it up since March. Swear down. Bro, I swear I'm laughing. It's exactly about 250 miles in the tank. You see, you see when, um, obviously, all the petrol prices and that dropped, yeah? 
I'm whipping my car about just because I'm thinking, what? I can get diesel at 99 pence, bro. Fill my tank up as many times as I can. I'm just in my car. Like, I'm just being. Bro, that was fucked when that. Um when the diesel prices crashed. Yeah, yeah. I was bro, gassed. The world went into absolute panic. Mm, not that. Bro, I seen um the boy, some of the boys that sent into one of the group chats, he was like, um, man in North America and that selling oil rigs, bro. Selling oil rigs for like fifteen hundred dollars because to dig up fucking oil out of the ground, but because they think that that's it now. They're just trying to flog everything. That bad. Bro. Yeah, bro. Well didn't they go didn't they go like Nearly negative, like people were trying to, people were giving away oil for free. I missed the lick on that one, dude. Imagine. I know it on the stocks and that, it, it went down and then it absolutely yeah. rocketed. Yeah. Flipping, what's, um, obviously Shaq was in, involved in stocks and that, and obviously, like, he was showing me the other day with, uh, like, the graphs and things like that. I don't know, I don't understand it too tall, but I kind of get what I'm looking at. But like, I, like it was just fascinating, bro, to see like on a time scale, thinking about where we were, where we was as a as a a planet, like economy wise and that. To see like the like a visual representation of the drops and all that was looking yeah, right. Not much, the time bro. Was like, you know, you know, if you got money in this situation, bro, it could go big tone though. Obviously, you could tear like. I know one, the one like commodity that stayed strong all the way through was gold and silver. Like gold and silver, just, it's just on a constant mm-hmm. increase. It's just I don't, know, I, I don't even know the reasoning behind it. I'm not even into that shit. But I know gold and silver just stayed strong throughout like, the whole thing. With everything, you've got your stocks and your shares. Like whatever other commodities yeah. you go through, they're volatile. Like, I mean, a lot of them would have lost people. Super stupid views. Sorry, I've got a question. As a Liverpool fan. With the most objective view possible, do you think Liverpool will retain the title next year? No. Do you not think so? That's peak, isn't it? No. Had, that's did, it. did you see the sadness yeah, in his face? That's, yeah. that's, a, that's a meme there, that's no context. Man took me, it took me straight to <laughs> That was straight for the job. I'm saying because I had the conversation with someone earlier and I was just wondering why. Do you, do you, who do you think has got in Man City? Yeah, bro, they're too good. Mm. We, beat, we won the league on just. I mean, we was the best team and Man City was shit for a certain time but their squad's too good like they've just signed Nathan Ake they just keep signing players they signed Ferran Fer- Fer- Torres for Valencia they're, signing, they're looking after like looking at three more players bro it's just like with Liverpool have had to fucking pretty much remortgage Anfield to get a player in for 11 minutes <laughs> like, bro they're broke like, they're, they're openly saying it like, is that like, Liverpool do they not have the funds well they're, well, obviously, I follow like bear of those journals that are inside mm-hmm. the club, basically. And they're basically saying, we haven't got any peas. There's no peas at the club because of coronavirus. Because obviously, there's no. We're well, talking about a club that own, uh, currently holds the Champions League, the Premier League. Yeah, that's mad. The World, well, the, mm-hmm. sorry, the um, World Club Championship. It's embarrassing, that's what it is, if I'm honest. That's so, all Liverpool's money will be coming from outgoings, and then, then we can sign. Just sign, well, Signing a left back now at the minute is like a level mil from Olympiacos, but he's not even going to play. It's just a, it's just a backup player. Yeah. Right? It just stresses me out talking about Liverpool. <laughs> That's why I thought I'd bring it up. It just stresses yeah. me out because I should be happy. I should be very happy. To yeah. Play. Just living in the moment, win the league, bro. I've never seen him win the league in my life, but I was trying. To, I was just trying to Google Liverpool for, um, the club's net worth here yeah, because you're saying it, bro. It'd be interesting to see, like, but obviously the, that from FSG, from Sports Group, they take out like. They've got bare little sports projects going on. So it doesn't work like... Okay, like just to put this in, into perspective, yeah. This is saying Liverpool's estimated net worth combined is 2.7 billion, yeah. But Man City is 22 billion. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was nuts. Nice. But then say that, say that though, like Man News is only 4.9. Obviously, it's, like, we're talking billions. Like, that's yeah, Man City are a joke. Them... Like, for example, I don't know how true it is now, but I know back in the day, when we, when they first took over, if you got signed to Man City at, like, age 7, and they go at age 10, you got private schooling all the way through to 16. Right. Like, you got, even if you weren't in the club anymore, you got private schooling. I mean, they'll relocate your whole family to sign, like, an 8-year-old from the Netherlands. New house, put you through private schooling, but obviously the best. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been to that... Um, obviously to watch H play, I've been on to the, 
their um, youth set up and it's his fucking joke. Yeah. They've got like, I think, I might be lying, but they've got like um, a cut pitch for every ground, in the, at the training ground, for every ground in the league. Yeah. Who has those facilities? Obviously, like if you go to Turf Moor for Burnley, yeah, yeah, yeah. got that pitch there with the exact dimensions. Yeah, yeah. They've got a room where you can only head the ball. You know, your head is in there. Really? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Just, just. just so it's like, just a ball, like the Bellingham. Yeah, yeah, it's just on a different planet. It's, the, it's mean, not like a Sims game. Yeah. <laughs> we went Don't want to right? cheat too many times. <laughs> if you go past it, if you go money, you go past it. It's fucking massive, bro. It's like yeah. a. It's like two, three, four spaceships, massive buildings, bro. It's fucked. Sure. I mean, you can't really compete with that, especially with financial fair play being scrapped. 